Welcome! We made it to day seven of the mini boot camp for organizing photos in 2023. I'm Molly, in case you didn't remember, we have really covered a lot. So I don't know how you're feeling. So I'd love to hear from you. Just drop a comment about what you think so far, what you've learned, and maybe what you need to know yet, because that'll help me plan future programs. Today's topic is saving last month's photos. This is such an important habit, and uh, it really helps position us well at the end of the year if we've done it. We can end up with 12 folders, you know, of our most important pictures, and it might help us make an annual photo book or the calendar for the following year, or even pick pictures for a memorable holiday card. So what are the steps? I think they're pretty simple, but it does take a little bit of thinking and uh, commitment to doing it. The first thing is, is to remember to delete any pictures you know you don't need. And hopefully you've been doing that all along. Then you're going to want to get your pictures from your phone to a folder on your computer. It could be in the Master Family Photos folder, and it'll just be the year. So right now it'd be 2022-10 October photos and you're going to get the photos from your phone to that folder. So it could be with a USB cable, it could be downloading them from uh, iCloud for Apple iPhone or from Google for the Android phones. Get all the pictures in there and you might end up with let's just say 350 pictures. That's how many I've been taking lately because we have that puppy. Whatever that number is, you know, write it down. It's just fun to kind of see where you start. Then go through it and really, really start looking at what you can let go as well. All the repetitive pictures, the photos for information. You know, you want to save in that folder the most important pictures from the year. And hopefully you've gotten you've been able to get rid of at least half of your pictures. Uh, I know that sounds a little drastic, but remember, you still probably have the photos saved on your phone in case you change your mind at some point. I find most people are not deleting pictures off their phone. So you have that folder and you've essentially curated it. You've deleted the, you know, the things you don't need and you have a nice sampling of photos. So in my example here for April, which was much earlier this year, but I love the pictures. We went to a Bon Jovi concert. I have 59 pictures left and uh, I backed that folder up to an external hard drive as well as uploaded it to forever at the end of this year well probably in November I will order a calendar for the year because I have really easy albums to pick pictures from versus running around trying to figure out where all these pictures are this is my fervent hope that you can at least maintain that habit so easily four months can be gone or even three years. So let's save our photos monthly, okay? Wrapping up this um, little lesson, I have some takeaways for you. Save last month's photo, and that would be October's pictures. Send me a screenshot to hello at pixologyinc.com. I will enter everybody who sends me a screenshot of their last month photos, whether it's in the folder or on uh, in forever, send me a screenshot. And then uh, I will enter everybody into a drawing for a $50 gift certificate to forever. And I'd love to announce your name because you saved last month's photos. That wraps up this lesson and this mini boot camp. I hope it was helpful. If it was, go ahead and share the information with someone. It's all out there. And I just want as many people as possible to be saving their pictures because you never know. Photos can really uh, make people happy. Um, and, and that's what life is all about, right? Delighting each other. And I think that's what memories do, delight. And it also helps the most important people in our lives be remembered. Take care and we'll see you again.